All right, this is gonna be a more leisurely run. So for this, again, start out return to New Tristram, except instead of having to respawn the map over and over again to get decaying crypts, we're just gonna go straight into the collecting of Nephilim Valor stacks. So head straight to Festering Woods, and we're gonna head left immediately, and uh, go all the way along this left side, and we're gonna be attempting to find this dungeon called Warrior's Rest, and it's a 100% chance to spawn, and it uh, automatically has an elite in it. And so this is our first stack of Nephilim Valor. And uh, ideally, that was a lot of times not critting. Uh, ideally, uh, Festering Woods will be between um, two and five stacks of Valor. And you can see right here that I am uh, utilizing Exploding Palm to do tons of damage to the elite by putting Exploding Palm on all of the elite ads. Um, and then activating overall before the exploding palm explodes and that causes the uh, exploding palm damage to be increased drastically. Do remember to equip your Stone of Jordan. Um, it will help with the elites that you'll be killing, especially it'll help the exploding palm damage. Now we're going to run a, uh, a circle, circling all the way around and uh, the idea will be to hopefully find another pack of elites, which we did. If you do come across an elite pack, immediately kill it. <clears throat> um, oh, that was close. I don't know where the guy is. It was intense though. It took a lot of damage. All right, so the uh, idea is to kill every single elite you find, except you do not want to kill elite ghosts. And the reason you don't want to kill elite ghosts is not because they're particularly difficult from a they kill you perspective, but they phase in and out of the scenery and it makes them take a million years to kill. And uh, the longer you spend killing elites, the less time you spend killing monsters in fields of misery. All right, on the, uh, on the east side of the map, we will find Crypt of the Ancients. Go in there. This is another automatic spawn dungeon that has an automatic spawn elite. And this will be your third stack of Nephilim Valor. And uh, ideally, we'd get five stacks of Nephilim Valor, but um, it looks like this run's gonna be a three stack which is fine. <clears throat> so right there was what happens when you fail to put Exploding Palm on all the ads. I only got it on one of them. So it still did a lot of damage to the Elite, but it didn't instant kill him. Once you have your stack, we can zone on out and we'll equip our uh, Hellfire Ring. It's still certainly possible to get to five stacks of Valor. Uh, let's head to Cemetery of the Forsaken. And the Cemetery of the Forsaken uh, waypoint allows you to start Fields of Misery at the exact same spot every time, which is very helpful for um, running an optimal path. All right, so this portion is exactly like um, the, other, the other guide. You just uh, put some exploding palms on and uh, blow stuff up. This is very well covered in my um, Tempest Rush EP Bells Guide. If you do find an elite pack in the beginning part of Fields of Misery, just go ahead and equip that Stone of Jordan again. And uh, killing elite packs in Fields of Misery is actually even easier than killing elite packs in, uh, in um, Festering Woods because cows and trees have so much health, they act as elite ads, which is super useful. Um, in this case, not so useful because they all spread out. Bats can be annoying, but that's okay. We got them. So there we go. There's our fourth stack of Valor. It was pretty easy. It doesn't take too much time. Um, it's certainly worth it. The way that you can determine if getting an additional stack of Valor is ever worth it, is if the stack of Valor, um, or if the Elite mob takes less than 15% of your total runtime, then it is absolutely worth it to kill the Elite. So for instance, my Field of Misery runs are usually about five minutes long. So as long as the Elite does not take um, approximately 40 seconds or more, um, then it is worth it to kill the elite. And here we see that decaying crypt spawned. So that's super cool. Um, if you do find a decaying crypt spawn uh, while doing this run, just immediately go into it because it's worth three stacks of Nephilim Valor. <laughs> so in this case, we're gonna do the exact same thing as from the other run, and we're going to prime uh, decaying crypts. So we're gonna run through it all the way. We're gonna let additional zombies spawn. And while the additional zombies are spawning, we will eventually make it to the end of the decaying crypts. And at the end of the decaying crypts, uh, there will be decaying crypts level two. And 
an immediate and decaying crypts level two has two free stacks of nephilim valor so this will allow us to go instantaneously to uh, three full or five full stacks of valor and we'll have a primed decaying crypts to go backwards through which will be a ton of xp so this is a uh, a lucky thing to have happen in this run. It is certainly not necessary. Um, the run is over 200 million XP per hour without decaying crypts, and significantly over 200 XP per hour, or 200 million XP per hour with. It's actually a little bit under, I think, without decaying crypts. It's like 190 or something like that. Um, and then with decaying crypts, it's uh, well over 200. So you can see that, you know, we're getting tons of mobs to spawn. I did skip the elite because I know I'm gonna be getting a free stack of valor anyway, so there's no real point for me to kill the elite. Here we go, here's level two, head on in. We don't even have to do the quest or the event because um, there's a resplendent chest, so boom. And now we'll equip Leorix and we'll, uh, we'll start the blowing stuff up process. So this is a, a, quick, a quick and easy version. Um, if you want the full rundown on, on priming decaying crypts and stuff like that, uh, please refer to the uh, the main guide. Um, it's just easier that way. So there's tons and tons of mobs um, already. So you can see that the decaying crypts is pretty nuts. And uh, because decaying crypts um, will contain at, at the absolute minimum one elite and a resplendent chest and an event, um, you have to if and because festering woods automatically gives two stacks of, of valor. It is impossible to find a decaying crypts and not have five stacks of valor when you clear it. So uh, that is a pretty cool part of decaying crypts is that it's it's actually self five stacking. Um, so you should get really excited when you're doing this run if you ever see decaying crypts because it means that your run's all of a sudden going to be worth way more XP. Um, one of the downsides is that because this particular run. Um, already looks to get five stacks from Festering Woods even when there aren't, or even when Decaying Crypts doesn't spawn, is occasionally you'll get a Decaying Crypts to spawn um, and already have five stacks. And so you'll sort of, I guess you could call it, waste the, the two free stacks at the end of Decaying Crypts. And that's why, uh, or at least that's part of the reason that this run is in general um, less efficient than the other run, than the um, uh, decaying crypts every time you run because two free stacks of valor is pretty intense it's it's a real big bonus <clears throat> occasionally this will happen and you will find elite um spewing horrors that's pretty just gravy because they do actually continue to spawn mobs even though they're in elite so you can keep them around for a really long time if you get fast spewing horrors you can actually get spewing horrors that will follow you through the rest of uh decaying crypts and that's really great it's it's just free xp so there's no point in actually killing them because um, elites don't really give any more, they give very slightly more XP than um, than trash mobs. Um, so it's not really, it takes more time to kill them than it's worth. So we, uh, we killed as many of the adds as we could and then we just bail. And this is, uh, for those who are curious, probably something along the lines of 260, 270 million XP per hour. Um, just just while you're in decaying crypts itself um, if you have my gear my setup and uh, and you're using the all the XP bonus items that I'm using um, which is you know a lot of XP per hour so it's quite cool <clears throat> all right so there should be we're almost done with decaying crypts and the cool part is um, or just another cool part I suppose is that we'll come out of Decaying Crypts with the majority of Fields of Misery left to farm, and Decaying Crypts got us uh, s straight to five stacks. So we actually get more XP than we would have. We get a possibly usable wizard hat. Some, some mages in the game still use that hat. So that is one of the few legendaries that exists that is not an automatic demonic essence unlike these two, which are automatic demonic essences. Or not demonic essences. That would be wonderful. That would be so much better. No, they are automatic brimstones, unfortunately. All right, so we're nearing the end of our run. And as you can see, um, it's been pretty crazy. You get 
something like 40 million XP if you have all the uh, XP bonuses um, from a single decaying crypt, which is a lot. Uh, I think it's a little bit less than that usually, but it depends on, on how many zombies end up spawning. All right, so we're done with decaying crypts. We'll go back to our... Uh, oh, I had a Zone of Jordan on, apparently. That's unfortunate. Don't do that. Definitely equip a Hellfire Ring. So I just, that means I forgot to re-equip my Hellfire Ring when I killed that elite in Fields of Misery. Uh, that's no good. Don't do that. Definitely equip your Hellfire Ring. You do not need Stone of Jordan for um, killing trash mobs. All right, so we're back in Fields of Misery and we got five stacks. So now we're just gonna continue along the run. Um, so with, with this particular run, because you're gonna go into um, Decaying Crypts as soon as you see it, um, the route that you run doesn't really matter which, which place Decaying Crypt spawns. So instead, just run the exact same route. And there's, again, a map in the, uh, the YouTube description and a map in the um, guide. So you can just take a look. I drew with uh, my expert paint skills, MS Paint, um, on top of a map made by um, a use, uh, forum user on d3database.com about a year ago, and I have been unable to track this person down, but uh, credit will be given when credit can be given, because their map is fantastic. I absolutely love their Fields of Misery map, and I use it all the time. Um, it is a different Fields of Misery map than the uh, the one made by Battle Bra that shows you how to uh, quickly far or quickly find um, decaying crypts. All right, so this does it for the most part. Um, you just continue to blow stuff up until you have fully cleared Fields of Misery, and once Fields of Misery is fully clear, then um, yeah, that's the run. And it is about, give or take, 15%. Um, I haven't done it enough testing to give you a, a really good number, but it's something like 15% less efficient than um, simply spawning or respawning the game over and over again until you get a spawn of uh, decaying crypts. But the flip side to that is it is significantly less annoying and stressful. So the problem with the Decaying Crypts thing is that if you get interrupted midway, or you have to leave the game or whatever, you lose your Decaying Crypts. Whereas here, you just lose a couple stacks of Valor that you got pretty much for free anyway. Um, the other benefit to the Decaying Crypts, um, sp the specific Decaying Crypts run, is <clears throat> you will always have five stacks of Valor. And there are occasional times when you will find no Elites in Festering Woods and uh, this run will be worth significantly less XP than you would like. Um, so that's sort of the downside. I ran this for most of my grind to um, whatever I'm at now, Paragon 94. I only very recently discovered the, uh, the just spawn decaying crypts strategy. So um, I can attest that this is still very, very valuable. Um, I have been able to make over 200 million XP per hour doing it, um, so that's pretty good. I would consider that to be uh, pretty top tier. Um, I believe that this route works equally well for other classes, such as Rend Barbarians. Um, I believe that Rend Barbarians get significantly more XP, which should be a surprise to no one. <clears throat> And uh, I believe that um, Locust Swarm Witch Doctors, and there is a way that you can do this with Demon Hunters, because I have a Demon Hunter friend who does it as well, um, can both use this as well. Uh, I have absolutely no idea about Wizards. I assume that Wizards would have no problem, as they are one of the top MP10 classes. All right, so that will do it for this walkthrough.